All right, we're going to take a look at one of our first examples here with isosceles triangles by finding the values of x and y. Now, when I take a look at this picture, I want to first zero in on this guy right here. That angle that we're presented with, that's my vertex angle. Now, if that's my vertex angle, that means this angle right here, x and y, those two angles are going to be my base angles. Now, since I know that those are my base angles, then that means they're both going to be the same. So I could replace x with y or y with x. It doesn't really matter which I would want to make a replacement with because that part doesn't really matter. But what I am going to need to remember is that, hey, all three angles in the triangle add up to 180. Now, if I know that that one is 102 degrees, that means what's left over? I've got 78 degrees left over because 180 minus 102, that equals 78. So I've got 78. Now, x and y are both the same thing, so I've got to split that between both x and y. And since they're both the same thing, instead of just saying x plus y equals 78, I could substitute either y for x or x for y. It doesn't really matter. But if I know that they're both the same, from an algebra perspective, I could say x plus x equals 78, which is just 2x equals 78. And then that gives us just x equals 39. Now since x and y are, have the same value, then we would write x equals y equals 39. So in this case, our base angles each have a measure of 39 degrees. And I'd always want to double check that to say if I take 39 and add that with another 39, so this angle right here is 39, my x was 39. If I add up 39, 39, and 102, does that sum equal 180? If it does, then I did the problem correctly. So always be sure to go back and double check your work.